Hi, I'm Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to learn how to create a registration form with Google Forms. So I already opened up a quick template here. Um, what I can do to start is come and modify here the title. So we would add in the name of the registration you want. We'd add a bit more information here, you know, what the, the, the event is, uh, what days are the classes, the contact time, and things like that. From there, we're going to add other questions. So one example would be the name of the person that you that is registering, their email. Uh, you might add a question like an organization, what you know, or if it's a child's class for kids, you can put the name of the kids, um, and then you would have you know drop down menus, right? So here I can click on this and I can make this a checkbox and say, okay, what days are you going to attend, or what session do you want to attend, right? And it might be you know the you know Tuesday night session, Monday night session, whichever you want, you would kind of build it out like that so people can select which session or day they want to attend. Um, and then we can make it a, uh, change the type of question, right? So in this example, it allows them to pick multiple days, but maybe you want a multiple choice question, right? Maybe I want them to only pick a specific uh, session or day. So you can change these with the text and then remove or add them. You can even add an image to explain it uh, better. You can make it a drop down as well. Um, so those are a few kind of different options for, for registrations. This is a good example here. So let's say this was for a cooking, uh, class registration. Well, you might have dietary restrictions, right? So people could select the different, uh, dietary restrictions that they have. Um, you can easily remove, delete the question or make it required or not. Right? So some questions you might need to, uh, collect but others you might not have to. So that's kind of the, the difference. And here, because, you know, Google Forms doesn't connect with payment, you could just say, hey, I, I, I will, you know, pay upon arrival. Now, on the right side here, you can add new questions as well. So again, I can go down, it could be short answer, paragraph questions, file upload. So if you need people to upload a certificate or uh, a picture or anything like that, uh, multiple choice grid, checkbox grid. So you can, you know, really create different columns and rows as you build the form, usually not as necessary in your registration form, but might be useful for surveys and things like that. Um, and then maybe you want to ask for what's your preferred date and time, right? So I can say, hey, I want to know the preferred date and time here, uh, make that required, and then also add a question for the time, right? So it just allows you to add multiple different uh, options as you're kind of building out the form. Now, what I just did here as well is I've split it into sections. So it's going to um, have different sections. You have the first page and then you'll go into a second page with the section. So I'll just remove the section here. Um, so let's go fill it out. What does that look like? Right? So first, if you click on the view here, it's going to give you a preview, which allows you to go and test it out, which I always recommend. So you're going to want to put in all the information and fill out, you know, the form before you're actually sending it out to other people. Once people kind of fill out the form, you go to responses and you will now see the different responses where people have answered the different questions. You can easily link it to your Google Sheets, which is always great. And then you can even go question by question or filter if you have a lot of questions. You can say, hey, I'm actually looking at the organization. Can you show me with that question? And it's going to show you all the different responses at that level. And then I can even look on an individual basis. So here's the first person that filled it out. Then I can toggle on to the different other people from within the form. You'll probably want to customize it as well. So if we click on the button here, you can add, you know, header questions and text, different style uh, fonts, as well as the size. You can put a background image. So this would be for this area here. It's going to be the header. It's going to be the image telling you, telling everybody about the registration you're looking for. And obviously a few sets of colors and backgrounds that you can, that you can set up. And lastly, I want to go to settings. This will give you even more options. So what happens when people select questions? So I can click on defaults here. Do I collect emails? Yes or no, right? Do I have to verify? It? Is it a responder input? So you can toggle on and off little things like that and make all questions required by default. So these are other types of settings you can, you can, um, you can set up. So if you go in the settings tabs, you'll be able to fill or fill out the, the, all the information. And lastly, you'll, you're going to want to share it. So if you click on the send button, you have a possibility of sharing it by email. You can have a unique link. So if you share that link, when people click on it, it's going to go to the Google forms, or you can even embed it, right? Embed it on your website, uh, and then share even form via, you know, Facebook or even on Twitter X. So that's how you quickly create a registration form in, um, 
Google in Google Forms. Hope this was helpful.